Hello everyone, this is uh, Sandeep here from Measurable Impact. Um, we're doing a nice um, sort of behind the scenes video for all the video shoots that we've been doing. Uh, today we're doing like a more case study style uh, video shoot with none other than the great Meraki. It's a beautiful site, beautiful venue that we have. Um, and Meraki is launching their new partner program and, and there's great events happening and this would be a perfect precursor uh, for that activity. So we thought we'll bring you our client, Shalini, uh, from Cisco Meraki. Hello, hi, so I'm Shalini. I am the marketing manager for Cisco Meraki, looking after Australia and New Zealand. Right, and we also have our talented videographer slash the, the creative thinker, John. What do you want me to be like? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we just wanted to get a quick uh, sort of a discussion on what are some of the things that we want to get out. Uh, when we are filming um, from a talent standpoint uh, and even from a client standpoint and from a shoot standpoint. Uh, to start with Jono, when you're filming, what are the, some of the key areas that you're looking into uh, before you go out there uh, and doing similar style shoots? Yeah, I guess uh, one of the big things is, you know, kind of scouting out uh, locations or on-premise, on-site. Um, <clears throat> spaces to kind of shoot, things that would look good, as you can kind of tell, the backdrop and stuff like that. Um, we love to also look at kind of the lighting, the number of cameras that we use, the different camera angles, uh, just to kind of enhance and tell the story uh, a little bit more. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. And, and do you actually have to worry about the light setups um, and based on how do, you, how do you choose the right spots? Yeah, I think uh, positioning kind of talent is, is really important. Uh, so with the lights that we use, um, yeah, it really depends on you know other ambient lighting as well. Uh, so that's definitely an important part to play. Uh, I think it really helps tell the story if you do have uh, you know proper lighting, proper cameras, uh, and also the, the angles uh, that really kind of evoke uh, the message that you want to get across. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Well, and, and speaking of message, uh, from a, from a client standpoint, you have so many stakeholders to work with internally. Um, especially today we're working on our partner program. So you've got partners, you've got people from Cisco coming in. So what were some of the key areas you want to bring on uh, or you want to reflect on in these videos? Or is it, are there certain angles that you wanted to make sure were covered in the videos? Um, the main aim was to essentially speak about our um, acquisition with Cisco and talk about the integration, which I believe is very, very important. Uh, because partners know Cisco, but they don't necessarily know who Meraki is, and I think that um, it is important to connect, um, communicate that unified message. Um, so what kind of stakeholders got involved in most of the videos? So we had uh, someone from our uh, managed partners, um, Secure Agility, to talk about the value they have seen with Meraki. They have uh, recently transitioned from a value-added reseller to a managed service provider mm -hmm. with the help of Meraki and utilizing um, our solutions. Um, so it was important to you know talk about the growth they've had and the capabilities that have expanded. Cool, cool. But Jono, um, yeah. once these videos are filmed, the next part is the post production, which is probably the most toughest bit. Sure. What what takes? <clears throat> what are the key areas that you sort of work on to make it easier and more efficient? Yeah, I think um, one big part is definitely the editing uh, aspect. Uh, a lot of it kind of comes from picking out the right uh, moments, uh, sometimes, you know, key words that are, are mentioned and said. Um, so not just picking those moments, but also um, putting it all together. So, you know, making it look the part, uh, making sure that the message is, is put across uh, mm -hmm. on video. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, the, the viewer only sees uh, what's on screen. So whatever is on screen, uh, is all that people get. Correct. So really trying to get as much as we can um, out of the edit mm -hmm. uh, and then kind of refine it and refine it as we go. So we usually do a few iterations uh, just to make sure that we're on the right path, add the soundtracks, we've got the titles, lower thirds, mm -hmm. um, all those type of things. So um, yeah, really kind of that refining process and, and making it kind of connect with um, whoever's watching, yeah. That's brilliant. Like from even from a measurable impact standpoint, the whole idea about us building this um, we call them smart content pieces, is to have them s short, simple, sweet, to the point, uh, and covers uh, how the overall marketing journey is gonna take into consideration. Um, so what are the avenues can you use these content pieces and make them uh, enrich, um, not just your acquisition standpoint, but also nurturing and taking your 
um, I guess clients through a through a journey. Um, so I hope uh, in in today's video we're just going to cover some of the backdrops, some B roll, some overlays that we're going to be shooting. We've used a lot of GoPro uh, sort of uh, time lapse shots uh, just to add a bit of excitement on how we try to bring our videos to fruition um, and uh, continue watching this. Uh, behind the scenes <laughs> from a case study standpoint. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to come back to us. And uh, Jono, thanks for joining. And Shalini, thank thank you. You. thanks for joining. <laughs> thank you. Shalini, <laughs> thanks for joining. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.